This video is an apology to Et Gamelt Bergtroll. Okay, I treated you very poorly. And I know you've been, you've commented and uh, been subscribed for a long time. I was very frustrated with your argumentation. Um, you were, it seemed you were using some of the same sorts of arguments as atheism is unstoppable and I just was like I I give up and I should have just said I give up and just let you say whatever but I didn't and I, I and it got nastier and nastier and most of that was on my part some could argue that all of it's on my part and maybe it is um but The message I've been trying to say over and over and over again is if you word things a certain way, people are going to interpret it a certain way. And you can say, well, they shouldn't interpret it that way because that's not what I mean. But what you mean doesn't make a hill of beans difference if they interpret it a certain way. Okay, it's the same thing as when feminists will say, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, social justice warriors will talk about uh, privilege. Okay. What they're saying could be valid if people were to actually understand what they mean when they say that word. But most people interpret it quite differently than that. People are like, well, what kind of privilege do I have? I mean, I, I look at all these terrible things that can happen to men. And it's like, well, that's not what they're saying, but I, I just, the word is poison. The word uh, privileged, privileged, privileged it is poison. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter whether or not it really means something else. It, it doesn't matter. When people hear that word, that's what happens. It's the same thing as when someone says toxic masculinity. Well, you're saying masculinity is toxic. No, that's not what's being said. See, you got to find a different way to word that. Okay. Those, the progressive left needs to find new ways to word things. The uh, alt-right, right wing, uh, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry if it, if it offends some people that I, that I put classical liberals as on the right. I, I, I'll, I'll try to clarify again. It's, the rightmost position you can get on one of the left two quadrants on the political uh, compass, okay? It's, you know, it's the rightmost that you can get and still be on one of the left quadrants. And the main reason why it even goes there is because it holds some values that are usually considered very, very, very right-wing, okay? Then you've got neoliberalism. And then you've got plain conservatism, you've got Republicans. You, okay, that side of things, the right wing, needs to learn to word some of this stuff differently. And I kept trying to say, look, this is what people hear when this is said. And over and over again, it's, that's, well, that's not what I mean. You're not listening. I, I am listening, and I do understand what you mean when you state make that statement. I understand what you mean when you talk about the, the statistics, uh, black crime statistics. I understand what you mean. Okay, I get what you mean. A lot of other people won't. And that was my whole thing. And no matter how many times I try to say, people aren't going to get it. They're not going to understand this. The basic argument back was, well, they should. And I'm like, I'm just like, how is that any better than when feminists and SJW say their words and phrases that we don't get? How is it any better? It's not any better. And that's the point. We must make a massive effort to word things different if the way we're currently wording it doesn't work. Now,
another part of the argument was, um, well, I didn't directly say uh, black people uh, need to stop committing crimes. Well, none of the ways that you've worded it have been something that people are going to understand. And I said, you support people who do make that statement, like atheism is unstoppable. You support his statements. You support the way that he goes about it. Okay? It's, it's toxic. That methodology of going about discussing this stuff is toxic. The people you want to reach are never going to understand. They're never going to understand. As long as you use that methodology to explain it. And I've made a lot of mistakes. And I've made a lot of mistakes just this week. I made a lot of mistakes. I try to fess up to it. You know, my video where I was furious and saying retard and all that sort of, yeah, that's not going to get me anywhere. Nowhere. It's not going to get me a damn anywhere. And I should be more careful about when I use the word racist. Okay. There are things that people can, I, I, you know, even though there are things that people say that the things they say are racist, but the people themselves may not actually be racist. And, you know, I've done a very poor job at, at describing how I understand the difference between those two things. I've done a very terrible job at that. Um, but most of all in this video, I want to apologize at how I treated you. Uh, I always have to look at your name for a moment because it's just not something I can just remember. Uh, Et Gamelt Bergtroll. Um, used to be Berserk Arn. Um, I'm very sorry. Um, you know, I, I... I was so angry at the time we were having that uh, argument at that, that time, I didn't really care. I didn't care. Now I do, but it's probably too late. But I at least want to try. So... <sighs>